and welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we'll be upgrading the SSD in a 15-inch 2012 MacBook Pro with Retina display to an OWC Mercury Aura 6G solid-state drive. We've already gathered our materials, shut down the MacBook Pro, and have placed it on a soft, static-free work surface. We're now ready to begin. The first thing to do is close your MacBook Pro and flip it over. On the bottom are 10 5-point torque screws in 3 different lengths. As you remove them, it may be useful to keep the screw groups separated so you can easily replace them later. First, use the pentalobe screwdriver to remove the two center screws along the hinge edge. These two are shorter than the others. Next, remove the four screws along the sides. These screws have a collar on them and are slightly longer than the others. Finally, remove the four screws along the front edge. These screws have a slightly smaller collar and are sized between the other two. You can now lift the bottom cover up and off. The SSD is located here. First though, we'll need to detach the battery, which is located here. To detach the battery, gently lift up the edges of the connector until it comes free. To remove the SSD, you'll first need to remove the single Torx T5 screw holding the end in. Once the screw is removed, you can gently slide the SSD out of its socket. The notch on the Aura corresponds with the pin in the socket. Simply line the two up and slide the drive into the socket. Once you've done that, let the drive lay flat and secure it in place with the Torx T5 screw. You can now reconnect the battery by lining up the connector and simply pushing it into place. You can now put the bottom cover back into place. There are three different size screws that hold the bottom in. If you didn't keep them separated, you'll want to be sure you have the right screws going into the right spots. The two short screws with no collar go into the two center spots along the hinge edge. The four longest screws with the larger collar go along the sides, closest to the hinges. The four remaining mid-sized screws go along the front edge. You may now flip your MacBook Pro over, open it up, and turn it on.